Though a few hits off the light bulb later, we didn't really care. Can't forget the pickles. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shin Yang. That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. Welcome back, Genki fans, to another round of telekinetic tomfoolery, where it truly is mine over murder! Right you are, Zack, and here with us again today is that unstoppable force and the leader of the free world, the President of the United States. And what a perfect contestant for the show, Bobby. So far, this is proving to be the perfect combination. An undefeated human with the abilities of an alien meeting the challenges of the mad professor and entertaining everyone in the galaxy. What more could our audience want? Other than freedom from alien oppression, the reconstruction of their whole planet, and football on the television every Sunday, I can't think of a thing. Now, Bobby, you know we're not supposed to speak ill of our most benevolent overlord, Zinyak. Uh, I'm sure Zinyak had a good reason for blowing up the Earth like he did. A good reason. A very good reason, no doubt. Let's check out how our contestant is doing, shall we? So how do you think things are going for our contestant, Zach? Uh, in this match, uh, or in life in general? I was thinking the first, but now that you mention it, let's talk about the second. Well, I imagine it's not easy for them knowing that they're responsible for the deaths of billions of people through their hubris and what will ultimately be an unsuccessful bid to overtake Zinyak. My thoughts exactly. Bringing about the near extinction of the human race is a heavy load to carry. It sure is. I feel dirty, Zach. We're just the bombs of a megalomaniacal alien overlord, Bobby. It's not our fault. Let's get back to the action. This is some championship-level mind over murder, Bobby. I agree. The president sure is giving the folks at home one heck of a show. And I know Professor Genki is loving it. Indeed. Everybody's favorite man cat enjoys nothing more than murder, mutilation, and mascots. He does love alliteration, Bobby. I thought that was assonance. Assonance is when the words begin with vowels. Really? Well, you learn something new every day. I can't help but be impressed by this contestant, Zach. I feel fortunate to see this action firsthand. How about you? I... I just... I, uh, I said, how about you, Zach? <laughs> Zach? I, I can't do this! I can't do this anymore, Bobby! Keep it together, Zach. You hate to upset our most benevolent overlord. I miss my wife, Bobby. Uh, so do I. Another win by the leader of the Saints. Did you expect anything else, Bobby? Welcome, Genki enthusiasts, to the third and final match of Fly Over Murder! So far, the Saints head honcho and former leader of the free world has been racking up wins in our latest event. 
How do you think it'll go today, Bobby? Given this player's previous performances, I can only expect a great show and a big W in the win column, Zach. I have to agree, Bobby. It seems there's nothing this contestant can't do, including outshining Zinyak's own people with her own powers. Careful what you say there, Zach. Remember what happened to us both after your breakdown at the end of the last show. Oh, well, the Wardens have uh, very big hands, Bobby. Yes, they do. I'm just glad to be able to sit down comfortably. <laughs> oh, I hear ya. Well, like my eighth grade gym teacher used to say, the probe is no joke. Oh, you said that one. I hope our contestant is doing better than I am right now. Well, Bobby, seeing the president in action here reminds me of the tales about the king. I was thinking the same thing, Zach. If only we had been around to see those matches firsthand. Now, for those at home who haven't heard the stories, what do they need to know now? This was decades ago. Zinyak had conquered a planet of warriors. Much like our contestant, one of them stood above the rest and challenged Zinyak himself. Zinyak threw everything he had at the man, but the king just did stop. Eventually, Zinyak managed to rip the king's mind from his body and bury it deep within his own simulation. Ever since, the king has been looking to escape and get his revenge against the most benevolent overlord. Well, let's hope we never see him again, huh, Bobby? Oh, the king has probably driven himself insane by now. Can you imagine being locked away for so many years with just yourself to talk to? I've had that dream, Bobby. It's cold and it's dark and it's lonely. So lonely! <laughs> oh, there, there, Zach. Come on now. You're never gonna be alone. Lonely. Not while I'm around. Come here, Bobby. Lonely. So cold, I can't... Smashing performance by the contestant so far. Smashing? I don't think I've heard you use that before. Well, I'm trying something new, Bobby. Uh, what do you think? You know, I've always wanted an occasion to use jolly good. Oh, hello there, little British, are you? That's a classic right there. Hard to pull off with an American accent, though. Like trying to use bloody. And arse. <laughs> what is up with Americans using arse? Yeah, arse never works. But I know people who use it all the time. I don't get it. Well, some things are just mysteries, Bobby. I've been thinking, Bobby, have you seen the Professor around much? Not since the mass abduction and obliteration of the Earth, Zach. I can't help but think he's watching over us from wherever he is, uh, like a guardian angel. A sick, sadistic, cat-headed guardian angel. <laughs> or maybe he's hiding in the shadows with a baseball bat and a hand grenade just waiting for an opportunity to bash someone's head in and make them go boom! A much more likely scenario, Zach. That is what folks tune into this event for! Absolutely! That and your stellar commentary, Zach. Well, thanks, guy. You know, you're no slacks yourself, Bobby. I have always been impressed by your wordplay. Well, you forced me to step up my game in order to keep up with you, Zach. <laughs> We're running a- And that's it, folks! Three glorious bouts and a fine end to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Zach and I would like to thank Zinyak for his continued support of the show and for sparing our lives so we may continue to exalt his most highest glory. Good, Good night, night, everybody! everybody.